Hi, welcome back to Sibling Our Little Stream Together. This is Shoni, and today let's discuss about biodiversity. Let's start off by understanding what biodiversity is. It's part of the biosphere. Biodiversity is a variety of living organisms such as plants, animals and etc in an ecosystem or habitat. An environment with numerous varieties of living things is considered as a high biodiversity. Biodiversity has a vital role to play. It helps to boost our ecosystem productively. We each species all have an important role to play. Our planet Earth has a rich biodiversity. Unfortunately, due to human activities, species are being threatened with extinction, which then means that Earth's amazing biodiversity is at risk. There are about 8.7 million species of plants and animals that are in existence today. But only 1.2 million species have been identified and described so far. That means we still have to identify and describe the rest of the species, which today remains a mystery. Do you know one thing? We are living in a biodiversity hotspot. Yes, our South Africa, the Southwestern United States, Brazil and Madagascar all have more biodiversity than any other areas in the world. Areas that have high levels of biodiversity are called hotspots. Endemic species, species that are only found in one particular location, are also found in hotspots. If there are only a few varieties of living organisms in an environment, then it is called biodiversity loss. Biodiversity loss means that there is a decrease in the variety of living organisms in the environment. This loss of variety of organisms can destroy the smooth functioning of ecosystems. Over generations, all the species that are currently alive today have evolved unique traits that make them distinct from other species. Because there are countless different types of species, we sort them into categories or groups. It is the things that they have in common, which are called shared features or characteristics. To group the organisms, we must look at the important features or characteristics that are similar or that the organisms share. The science of classifying living organisms is called taxonomy. The most widely accepted classification system for classifying living organisms is divided into five main groups which are called kingdoms. These are the bacteria, protists, fungi, plants and animals. The kingdoms contain many different types of organisms. All the organisms in their kingdom share the defining characteristics of the kingdom. A Swedish naturalist called Carl Linnaeus began the task for classifying all the living things on earth. He used seven taxonomy levels to classify all the living things on earth. The largest highest ranking level is the kingdom. Then the phyla, classes, families, orders, genera and the lowest ranking taxonomy level, the species. Plants and animals are all living things they are very different from each other. Plants do not move around because their roots are anchored in the soil to absorb minerals and water. These substances are used to make their food. On the other hand, most animals move around freely, whether it is in the water, land or in the air. Flowering plants reproduce using seeds. Plants like ferns reproduce using spores. Plants are also often able to reproduce vegetatively. Vegetative reproduction is when a part of a plant, such as a leaf, stem 
or even root is capable of growing into a whole new plant. Animals reproduce by giving birth to live young or laying eggs. Some can even just simply split their bodies into two. Our planet's biodiversity is in jeopardy because our consumption and other activities are a threat to the biodiversity and eventually to the ecosystem. Pollution, climate change and population growth are all threats to the biodiversity. If we are going to continue like this, then scientists have estimated that half of the species on Earth will be wiped out within the next century. We are the responsible person. Yes, you and me. Together, we can take the necessary steps to preserve the biodiversity and the endangered species and their habitats. Yes, together we can. I hope you learnt about the biodiversity. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till then, signing off. Shoni. Bye-bye.